we will see about how to approach a newborn born to a mother with hepatitis B surface antigen positive. This is based on WHO guideline for infants born to hepatitis B surface antigen positive mother. Hepatitis B virus is present in high concentration in blood, serum and serous exudates, and a moderate concentration in saliva, vaginal fluid, semen, and the transmission occurs through blood exposure and the sexual contact. In children, the most important risk factor for acquiring hepatitis B virus remains perinatal exposure to an hepatitis B surface antigen positive mother. Maternal infection with hepatitis B virus can expose a newborn to a subsequent chronic hepatitis B infection. However, this perinatally acquired hepatitis B virus is a largely preventable condition. It is prevented by giving a newborn a vaccine and immunoglobulin appropriately. The risk of vertical transmission depends on the time at which the pregnant woman acquired hepatitis B virus infection and her status of hepatitis B E antigen or hepatitis B envelope antigen. Without prophylax, the risk of perinatal hepatitis B virus infection in an infant with hepatitis B surface antigen positive mother is less than 10% if the mother is hepatitis B E antigen status is negative, but it's around 90% if her hepatitis B antigen status is positive. So, as I have said, in children, the most important risk factor for acquiring hepatitis B virus remains perinatal exposure to hepatitis B surface antigen positive mother. The risk of transmission is greater if the mother is hepatitis B E antigen positive because up to 90% of these infants become chronically infected if untreated. Additional risk factors include high maternal viral load delivery of period infant who develop hepatitis B virus despite appropriate prophylaxis are additional risk factors. If infected at birth, unlike adult, an infant has approximately 90% chance of becoming a chronic hepatitis B virus carrier. But in the case of adult, only 5-10% to of them become hepatitis B virus carrier. But infants, more than 90% of them become hepatitis B virus carrier if they are infected at birth. When chronically infected, from this, 50-25% to risk of dying in adulthood from cirrhosis or liver cancer. The combination of hepatitis B vaccine and hepatitis B immunoglobulin is 90% effective in reducing hepatitis B virus infection from vertical transmission when given within 12 hours of birth. If a baby is born with hepatitis B positive antigen and the newborn got hepatitis B vaccine and immunoglobulin within 12 hours, the protective efficacy is 85 to 95%. Newborns are most commonly infected with hepatitis B virus via exposure to infected maternal blood at the time of delivery. So, majority of transmission of hepatitis B from mother to newborn is during delivery, not during pregnancy. So, in utero infection is uncommon. Infection during pregnancy is uncommon. Majority of transmission is during delivery. But if it occurs, there are factors associated with in utero infection. Those include maternal hepatitis B E antigen positive, preterm labor, high maternal hepatitis B surface antigen and hepatitis B virus DNA titers, and the presence of hepatitis B virus DNA in villous capillary endothelial cells. No evidence exists that caesarean delivery provides additional protection against transmission. And Breastfeeding does not increase the likelihood of infection. Uh, so, breastfeeding is said to be it is not a risk factor for transmission. Hepatitis B virus is uh, not present in breast milk. Maternal status for hepatitis B at birth is either it can be negative, unknown, or positive. So, our approach depends on whether they are negative unknown or positive. If the mother is negative for hepatitis B virus, no additional thing is given for newborn. Yes, the baby will get hepatitis B vaccine during vaccination according to expanded program for immunization 
according to a vaccine that is given for all babies. If a mother is having hepatitis B or hepatitis B sarcoma and positive mother, all infants should receive hepatitis B immunoglobulin and hepatitis B vaccine within 12 hours of birth. The vaccine series should be completed according to the vaccination is stable. So hepatitis B immunoglobulin and the vaccine is given at birth, then the rest expanded program for immunization will continue just like other children. If you do this, the protective efficacy is 90 to 95%. Then after vaccination, follow-up serology with hepatitis B surface antigen and anti-hepatitis B surface should be obtained between 9 and 18 months of age. Before 9 months, anti-hepatitis B surface related to hepatitis B monoglobulin administration could be present. This interferes with interpretation of results. So this follow-up serology is taken at 9 and 18 months of age. So give 0.5 ml of hepatitis B immunoglobulin and 0.5 ml of vaccine within 12 hours of birth for those babies that are born to mother with hepatitis B surface antigen positive. Both immunoglobulin and vaccine should be given intramuscularly at different sites. Then at 9 months, we do hepatitis B surface antigen and anti-hepatitis B surface. Hepatitis B surface antigen negative infants with anti-hepatitis B surface antigen positive are protected and they need no further medical care. Hepatitis B surface antigen negative infants with uh, anti-hepatitis B surface antigen level uh, negative should be pre-vaccinated with second three doses vaccine series, then retested for anti-hepatitis B surface one to two months after completion of series. Then, if hepatitis B surface antigen is positive, the baby is infected already, so he needs lifelong follow-up. So, after vaccination, when we check at 9 months, either they have both uh, and hepatitis B surface antigen positive, which needs lifelong follow-up, or they may have hepatitis B surface antigen negative and anti-hepatitis B surface uh, positive. This is just uh, protected, no need for further medical care. And if a hepatitis B surface antigen is negative and there is no anti hepatitis B surface or anti hepatitis B surface is negative, this, the child should be revaccinated and tested one to two months later. The issue is if maternal hepatitis B virus antigen status is unknown. In this case, maternal hepatitis surface antigen serology should be obtained. But while result is pending, all infants should receive the first dose of hepatitis B vaccine within 12 hours of birth, not immunoglobulin. If the mother is determined to be hepatitis B surface antigen positive after the result, the infant should receive immunoglobulin as soon as possible, but not later than seven days. Then proceed with the recommendation for positive hepatitis B surface antigen maternal status. Infant with birth weight less than 2 kg should receive hepatitis B virus vaccine and the hepatitis B immunoglobulin within 12 hours after birth if the mother is hepatitis B surface antigen status cannot be determined within 12 hours after birth. So if we can't determine the hepatitis B surface antigen status of the mother, we should have to give vaccine and the immunoglobulin just as if she's infected. Thank you for subscribing and for sharing and also commenting.